Hi, I'm Rachel. And I'm Sarah. And, and we're, we're the, the Stitching Sisters. Sisters. So this is our April crochet along, and we are doing Stash the Rainbow Basket, and it's designed by Tracy Fromm from Not Too Sassy. And this is a stash buster project. So. Which we all need. Yes. I have so much <laughs> yarn you can see all of that this. I need to use up. So this pattern is from the Happily Hooked magazine. Um, you should be, become a subscriber if you're not already. This is not an ad for that. I'm just a happy... We're not sponsored. We're not sponsored, hell. <laughs> I'm just a... Fan. Happy, <laughs> happy hooker. <laughs> we so let's pick our yarn. Do you want to take them all out? in here but there's like another 10 rolls of small <laughs> oh my God. Um, but I love this color I'm gonna do this one so me neither but I'm gonna definitely steal these two okay I'm gonna start with these two so let's put the rest of the, the rest away and get started That's really pretty too. okay we picked out our yarn it somewhat goes together I show them go through yours I've got tan brown some blues purple and some black i don't know exactly how much we're going to need for this if yeah. i run out whatever i'll just either make it smaller or throw in some extra colors because it Fisher's doesn't talking actually over there. say like the yards that you need it just says six skeins so i think that's just six different colors Because it says of various colors of worsted scrap yarn so i'm assuming like you don't need the full skein um i'm gonna do this mustard yellow a beige this is kind of like almost a light pink and beige. And then I have this gray, blue, and then these two. So these are my colors that I chose. I thought I'm actually just going to use a bigger hook size. Not a big deal. Just so I'll I can use, use that one. It's fine. No, wait. No. It's fine. Never mind. This is a six and a half. I want to use that hook. I haven't gotten to use it yet. I'm going to start with blues together. Oh, I what? see. Okay, so maybe I'll do... What color should I do together? Do blue and tan. These two? Yeah. Because these two look really good together. The blue and the yellow. And... Okay, so I'm going to start with these two then. Hopefully you guys can hear us because it's kind of windy today, but it's nice because that makes it not so hot. I've never worked with two yards together. Before. You haven't? It's fun. You do make a magic circle? Oh yeah, you yeah, do. Yeah, with A and B and one hook. Are you supposed to use two hooks? I hook. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> two hooks. <laughs> We're not knitting. Let's just get started. Okay. I don't see that special stitch in the beginning, so figure it out as we go. That's kind of how I, that's kind of my MO. Mm -hmm. Just do round one. Okay, so do you, you remember the magic ring? No, and I already messed up, actually. Okay, take your loose ends. I did the same thing. I was watching you. Your loose ends in front of your fingers, and then wrap it around. I am not a tutorial specialist. There. Got it. Okay. Fisher. 
pressure is getting so big. He's gonna pull our tablecloth right off. His favorite thing to do is walk up in his walker to the table and pull the tablecloth off. Oh, fun. Yeah, so you have to make sure there's no knives, no heavy pans, nothing on there because he'll just pull that sucker off. Glass. Oh man, there's knots in this yard. Fisher is also obsessed with phones. So, he's probably gonna borrow mine and throw it on the ground. because we always FaceTime. Yep. And slip stitch to join. No there you scissors, go. no phones. Thanks. Oh my gosh, I should have moved those. Wow, those collars together are very pretty. Aren't they? Wow. <gasps> wow. Can you, wait, can you cut my loose ends a little shorter? Uh, no, you have to weave them in. Crochet over them is what I do. I don't know if that's like something you're not supposed to do, but... I always crochet over my ends, and as long as my stitches are tight enough, I don't ever have a problem with them coming out. Sometimes I'll just do a few stitches over them and then still weave them in after. But I, I always weave mine in, even if they're it's like this long. I know you told me like you only need to do like eight stitches, but I will do the whole thing. I want someone to let me know if crocheting over them is bad because I need to know why. Because I don't have a problem with it. Unless it's loose stitches, of course. We're gonna pack up here and go in a minute but um so far i made it to i think round four already switched colors patterns working up nicely sarah hasn't gotten much done because she's holding a baby that's my little circle she's but i something. love these colors together if i had more i would do my whole basket with those two that would be cute but i don't then know that's why not it, a stash it, i'm curious to see how it's going to work out because since it's so small and we already switched colors maybe you don't need very much of each color what if it's like a basket that big? <laughs> no, because in the picture it has like, <laughs> it has a bunch of skeins of yarn in it. So I'm guessing that it's big. This is the whole bottom of the basket. And it's <laughs> We're already working on big. the sides. Oh, oh, you got the keys. Those wow. are probably really dirty. I real quick wanted to show my shirt too. It says, I just want to crochet and pet my dog. Every time she wears it, I always ask her what dog she wants to pet, though, because she has four. I have to choose. And she changes her answer every time. <laughs> <laughs> it changes every day. It depends on who's being good. Today it was Mama. Even though she left a skin mark on my bed last night. <laughs> Why would you talk about that? <laughs> Anyone with dogs will understand. <laughs> or a human child. <laughs> it happens. I get poop on my bed all the time. Thanks, fish. <laughs> You are silly today. Honey, those are real but, dirty. yeah, okay, we're gonna pack up and work on this more at home. Hey. My dogs are being total jerks in the background, so hopefully they'll keep quiet for this. So I did some work today on my crochet along. Still working, this is still the bottom of the basket. We haven't started building the sides yet, so it's actually really big. Um, I don't love my colors. It's like they don't match at all, but I'm just trying to use up my stash. So it works for that. This is, so what it has you do is start with like A and B, and then here would be B and C. So it like blends, I guess. I, yeah, like I said, I chose horrible colors. Not loving that. Um. But yeah, I got all this done today. I had I had only done this center part and then like this part and then like two rows of this um, since we filmed last when Sarah was in town with me. Um, I haven't done any work on it at all since then, but today I was at the market and I do markets for my, uh, my business for Little Monsters. So I, while I was there, I got some of this done. I, I've, I do a lot of crocheting on the go and I haven't been taking this one with me just because it's so many different colors. It's kind of a pain to carry all the yarn around, but I actually was able to fit it all in my yarn bag. This is a huge bag. It's like a duffel bag, but I squeezed all my colors in there and then there's like three little pockets here, little dividers with all the different colors and then this bag's amazing. Um, it like covers all of me. And here, I can get it open. 
in. I've got all my hooks and then scissors and stuff. So I, I always take this with me to crochet on the go, but I realized that I could fit all the yarn for this pattern in there. And it actually wasn't that bad. Um, wasn't, wasn't a pain at all. So yeah. I don't think Sarah's done any work on hers. I'll have to check in. Um, we were gonna meet up one day this week to work on it, but she's really busy right now. So maybe next week, but yeah, I'm gonna do some more work on it right now actually and see where I get. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Sarah came into town today, so we decided Decided. Decided. We decided to stop and work on our crochet lawn. If you can see back there, baby fish is sleeping. So we're just sitting in the car so we don't disturb him. And because it's a million degrees outside. Hopefully you can hear us because oh, yeah. we have to talk quietly so we don't wake up the baby. But we also need the AC on so that we don't die. It's hot today. It's really hot. So... Here I am. Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't worked on it at all since the last time we met up. Nope. And it's already the 22nd. Yep. She does this a... every time. She must thrive under pressure or something because she waits until the end of the month and then all of a sudden bangs out the whole thing uh -huh. all at once. I have a funny story. So I have, my driveway is it kind of dips down and then it's a hill and then it flattens out a little bit and so you guys saw it like this project has many balls of yarn well different colors but hers are all rolled up into balls balls okay and so i had them all piled in my trunk and i live in a very rainy area and so where my driveway dips down there's always this massive muddy puddle and Rachel told me, she's like, are you sure you don't want to put your yarn in a bag? It's not going to roll out. And I'm like, no, it's fine. Just shove it in there. I open the trunk and this ball of yarn rolls all the way down my driveway and it's raining and my arms are full and I'm chasing it. Well, you can't step on the piece because it's just going to keep rolling. <laughs> and it rolled and rolled and rolled into the middle of the muddy puddle. And so there's still like... She called me freaking out, and I, I was like, you, you can't really tell, but there's still, like, I was like, put mud. it on the dehumidifier to dry out. Look, my lap has dried dirt on it. Oh, my God. Yeah. Ew. At I least know. it's just a basket and not a sweater. No kidding. But I've been kind of mad at my yarn, so. I so you haven't touched it. it. I also have a baby blanket that I was making that was urgent because... Our friend wasn't supposed to have her baby till May, and she went into labor early, so now it's she a mad has her rush baby to finish. Boy, but now I need to finish. Okay, so you can see my look at the size difference. Rachel's I looks know. like a nipple or a boob. <laughs> it does. Oh my god, it's big. I still have a few more increase rows. It's huge until okay. we start building up the sides. I got a lot done yesterday though. Mine was the same size as yours until yesterday. I don't understand where I am. I don't count. Let me see. Oh, my major is really tight. Yeah, you did. Oh, wait. No, you didn't make that. I made that. Rachel. I did. You can't tell anybody that. We filmed it. Oh. <laughs> When we did our intro thing, you had a hard we time with him. Yeah, we were. Mm -hmm. I don't remember. Oops.
How is it gonna have sides? I think I've seen a lot of a lot of people saying that it's um, floppy. His mouth opens even better. Baby's waking up now and he's fussing. Oops. Sorry, baby. We'll come back to this. Maybe. I've got to go um, to a, a doctor appointment for my boyfriend pretty soon, so we might have to put this off. For even longer. Mm -hmm. Sarah's really struggling. Her stitches are so tight. Look at her. It's not my fault either. Okay, bye. Hey guys, it's Sarah. So I just wanted to go ahead and do a quick little video talking about our April crochet along, which was um, the Stash Buster Rainbow Basket by Not Too Sassy. So I actually didn't continue. This is all that I finished and I crochet for one reason only and it's because I enjoy it. And if I don't enjoy what I'm doing, then I just don't want to do it. And it started to feel like it was a chore and it has nothing to do with this pattern. This was going to be a beautiful basket, but the two strands of yarn, um, they're both thick, thick pieces of yarn and it just kind of, it hurt my hand for one. And I just felt like it wasn't something that I was enjoying. I didn't really want to do this pattern in the beginning, like to begin with. It just seemed like it wasn't something that was going to be useful for me. So after I got <laughs> this far, I kind of just called Rachel and I just said, Rachel, I really don't want to continue. I'm sorry, but I'm going to just end mine. And that's what... I decided to do so this is what I had done um, it is now a toy for my son he loves it he loves all crocheted stuff so I just wanted to go ahead and just say that um, no I did not finish it and I think that's okay I'm not upset about it I'm happy that I made that decision because I like I said I do this um, for happiness and that's all so I know Rachel's basket turned out pretty amazing, but I just wasn't going to finish mine. So there you go. Thanks, guys. So right about at this point in the project, I did end up finishing off. Um, I think I might have done just a few more rows and I was pretty close to being done with the pattern itself. And then I just needed to do the ribbing around the top, which I ended up not doing. I was happy with the size that it was. I didn't really have a project in mind for this basket initially. I just wanted to do a stash, bus stash buster pattern, but um, I think because I didn't have anything in mind for it, I just had really had no interest in actually making a basket. I was just feeling some serious burnout. It was totally personal, has nothing to do with the pattern itself. The pattern is very well written. It's very detailed. It's easy to follow. It's totally beginner friendly. Um, but yeah, I just didn't love my colors and I just wasn't feeling it. And the reason Sarah and I do these crochet alongs is so that we can spend more time with each other and have something fun to work on. So I think it's important to recognize that when you're not enjoying something, there's no reason to keep going. You're not doing anyone any favors by doing that. And these deadlines that we set and these projects that we come up with is totally personal. We're not making money off of it. It's just supposed to be fun. So I ended up finishing here. It's a great size and overall I do love it. I do wish I would have chose different colors, but I, I am happy with the end result. Yeah. 
Hi, I'm Rachel. And I'm Sarah. And we're the Stitching Sisters. So, um, we're the... Oh. <laughs> Start the comment. Wait, what do I say? So we are starting our April crochet along and we are doing the stash stash the rainbow basket, which is a stash stash buster stash buster project. Yeah. By Tracy from Tracy from from by not too sassy. Say say fuck. <laughs> Okay, we have to do a bloopers now. Okay. 